Hi, it's CB Killer family. This is Tommy, CEO of CB Kennels. Um, coming to you guys uh, so we can do a sit down video. Just a little bit of speaking on what happened to Rosa. I did get the results back from Rosa. Um, so I want to speak on what happened to her because you guys know this is a knowledge channel. And I want to inform you guys um, on what happened and some of the preventers I could have taken to avoid it from happening. And like just the ins and outs of the situation that I went through with Rosa Park. Um, but before I even start the topic, guys, I want to say thank you. I appreciate everybody who hopped in my DMs, who hopped in my comments and said, hey, man, um, rest in peace, Rosa Parks, man. Hey, Tommy, sorry for your loss, man. I appreciate everything, you guys. Um, last video, you guys, I know you guys probably see I didn't respond to no comments. Normally, I always respond to all my comments or try to respond to most of them. Um, but I kind of just want to, like, not think about it. I literally just made the video, posted the video, and didn't even go back to the video. I didn't, I didn't respond to not one comment from the video because, like, I just want to let it go, you know what I'm saying, and think about it. And you guys know it kind of hit home. And the reason why it hit home so much was because of the fact that everybody know I've been breeding for about two, three years now. Rosa Parks would have been my first, literally my first breeding where, like, it would be my first generation breeding. So I created Rosa Parks. Now I bring her back to her uncle to create mini juices. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's like a generational thing. And you guys know I'm trying to create my own pedigree and my own generational pedigree. So that would have been my first line of generational pedigree. So that shit kind of, feel me? I'm not worried about it too much because, like I said, it's part of the game, man. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, things happen. You feel me? And then when I tell you guys what happened to the situation, the hot situation happened, there was really nothing that I could have done. You know what I'm saying? So... Um, also, you guys, go follow my Instagram if you haven't. Um, please go follow my Instagram, CB Kennel without the S, two L's at the end. Um, also, you guys, I want to, before I actually really start this video, you guys, I also want to give a shout out to somebody, you guys. I mean, I want y'all to go over to her YouTube channel, her Instagram. Go show her some love, man. She's an up-and-coming YouTuber. They trying to work, man. It's her family channel, y'all. Please go and subscribe to her channel. Go to subscribe. Go to her last video. Comment. Came from CB Kennels. Um, this is her This is her YouTube channel um, It don't look like she posted any videos yet But this is her YouTube channel you guys Y'all make sure y'all go over there And subscribe to her channel Also go follow her Instagram This is her Instagram you guys So y'all make sure y'all go follow her on Instagram. Everything will be in the description box. Her Instagram, her um, Instagram, her YouTube, everything in the description box. If you need it, go down to the description box. Click the link for her YouTube channel and her Instagram. Go show her, get her a follow, and go to her channel, you guys. Support her like y'all support me. Her and her boyfriend bought a dog from me. Um, they actually bought a Frenchie from me for my last Frenchie litter. So y'all make sure y'all go with her channel. Um, go show them some love, man. They got a family channel. They grind and they got a kid. I'll make sure I can show them some love. Um, so, now let's get back to the business, you guys. So, um, so I, the doctor called me today and the doctor told me, she, talk, she called me, I'm sorry, hold on, y'all. Let me slow down. The doctor called me today and we was talking and she was telling me a little bit of what was going on with Rosa. So she, she did out of and everything and Rosa and she said, surprisingly, you guys, everything was good. Literally, she said, this is one of those cases where the dog was overwhelmed, her heart was overwhelmed, and her body couldn't sustain nine puppies. You guys got to understand, these puppies were thick, man. These puppies were girthy, man. Like, think about it. Girt, uh, Rosa was a, a, a thick female, and then I took her back to Juice. So now you're getting two thick dogs. You feel me? So it's like, it makes sense. It definitely makes sense. Um, so what she told me was... Um, what happened was this. So remember I told you guys, so from the last time Rosa got her um, ultrasound, she got bigger. So she was big on her ultrasound day. The last one she did when we had to make sure that puppy said heartbeat, she got bigger. So um, you guys know I told you I had Rosa on bed rest. She couldn't walk too much, couldn't do too much um, because it was it was messing with her, you feel me? So long story was this, she was holding water. Her body and her, they cut the pups off. She had a lot of water in there was because her body and her heart wasn't registering together. Because the pups were smushing on her organs and she had too many pups in there, her heart wasn't registering with her body that she, the fluid, so 
she's drinking a lot of fluid because she's drinking a lot of water. That's why she's holding so much water because her mind and body is telling her, hey, you're thirsty, you need water. But in reality, her body's not actually getting all the fluids because the, the puppies are like pushing everything. You know what I'm saying? Because one thing about water, when it goes through your body, it has to circulate. You know what I'm saying? It has to go through. That's how everything stays hydrated. You know what I'm saying? Hold on, you guys. So um, the doctor told me, get up, boy. So the doctor told me, you guys, she had um, heart failure, genital, she had heart failure. So, but the thing about it was this, the doctor told me, believe it or not, Tommy, she would have possibly died regardless whether it would have been when it happened or in the middle of a C-section because this. So with her getting bigger, her heart has to work harder. So with all the pups putting all that strain on her heart and making her heart have to work harder. Now, everything in her body has to work harder, not only to support her, but to support the pups also. So, in that case, let's say when she would have had the C-section, if she would have went the whole 60 days, when they put her on the, on the, you know, on the um, anesthesia to knock her out, to get the pups out, now it's like you're telling your heart to go from working super hard to relax now. So now, you know, it's making her heart, you know what I'm saying? It's just making your heart just, it's all over the place. And that can create blood clots. It's a lot of things that it can create with, you know, telling your heart just to change, from, just to change like this, to go from working hard to, to chilling, from going from chilling to working hard. And, you know, her heart couldn't take it, man. She had... She had a lot of puppies, man. You know, I thought she had five or seven. She had nine, man. She had a lot of puppies. I'm um, also got good news, you guys. Um, I did find a Rosa Parks sister. Yes, from the same litter. I got a guy who may have been talking for a few days. And yes, we are going to run that breeding back. Um, it's going to be uh, Rosa Parks litter mate sister. Yes, a GG and call drop daughter back to juice. And I'm going to get a pup or two off that because I need that. Again, that was my first generation bloodline that I've created. So when I talked to my mans and I showed him what I created with his sister, with the sister, he was like, oh, I'm down, bro. Like, they fire, like, you feel me? So um, big shout out to him, and I'm happy for that. Happy I can. I tried to buy Gigi back, but when I called the guy I sold it to, he told me he stole it to somebody else, and that lady got her um, spayed. So, you know what I'm saying? I mean, it was too bad for that. And I couldn't really, Gigi didn't have too many girls. I think Gigi only had three girls, and I'm not gonna lie, I don't know where the other one's at. So, you know, I had to figure it out. But I do know there's a guy, um, not too far I'm at, maybe an hour or two, who has a, a litter mate sister. So we're going to definitely run that back. Um, things happen. So preventative. Let's talk about preventatives. Like things that I could have done, the vet told me to possibly have preventative. So the vet told me I could have if I would have gotten an x-ray. So I'm going to break this thing down to you guys. So ultrasounds just tell you, okay, we have pups. That's just a confirmation. But you can never get an exact number on pups off an ultrasound. But an x-ray, an x-ray will give you a way better diaphragm, a way better like just number in general of how many pups you could possibly have. Because now you're counting skeletons. You're counting, okay, she had 10 skeletons, nine skeletons. Ultrasound, man, listen, you can be counting over the same puppy. You can be missing puppies. It's a lot, you know what I'm saying? But <coughs> me personally, I've never been an x-ray type guy because think about it. Look at the price. I mean, it's not even about the money. It's just I don't care to have a certain number of pups. I'll see when they get here. You feel me? I'm not going to pay between $250 to $400 for an x-ray to get an exact number when I can just get an ultrasound for $80 or $100. And it just tells me, hey, you got pups. You feel me? Like, I just want to get a confirmation that I have pups. I don't care how many I got. I see that during my C-section. But things that she said I could have done to possibly prevent that was if earlier in the pregnancy, maybe when I confirmed her when she was at 30 days, um, I could have did a procedure where they would have inserted saline into some of the sacs and it would have killed the babies. Um, <coughs> but I mean... Let's think about it. Let's be real. Come on, like, for real, for real, y'all, let's be real. Like, who finna really go through all that? Like, you feel me? Who finna go through killing off some of their puppies, not knowing if that's going to hurt the puppies, not knowing if that's going to hurt the other puppies, not knowing if that's going to hurt the mom, not knowing if you only got, you feel me? Like, you got to think about it. So, it would have been a process. So, I would have had to go to get an x-ray because, again, you have to know exact numbers. You feel me? I would have had to go get an x-ray. 
Okay, she got nine puppies. Okay, I want to kill off three, or I want to kill off. Who want to kill off puppies, bro? Like, she was like, yeah, this is still a business at the end of the day. Like, you feel me? We love these animals, but at the end of the day, man, let's be real. It's still a business. Like, who want to kill off some of their puppies? I mean, yeah, when you think about it, I'd rather kill off some of my puppies than to lose my mom, dog, and my whole litter. But I mean, who's thinking like that, bro? Like, I didn't go to school. I don't have a PhD in this. You feel me? Like, I breed dogs, get ultrasounds. It is what it is. You feel me? But again, every dog is different. But I knew Rosa was going to be kind of problematic when at 30 days, Rosa Parks was big. At 30 days, Rosa Parks. When I confirmed Rosa Parks, her son was big at 30 days. And that never happens. I can show you guys um, Billy Jean right now. She's nowhere near as big as Billy, uh, Rosa Parks was at 30 days. So, I mean, again, guys, you got to look at it. But, I mean, who want to kill off some of their puppies? Like, who want to lose money killing off some of their puppies because of, you hear me? And, again, who going to know that? Like, for real, for real, who going to know that? And that's one of the things is like, okay, cool. Like, you know what I'm saying? But, hey, man, things happen. You know, you guys know. I got a lot of dogs in rotation. You know what I'm saying? I got Ice Spice. I got... Um, I got Billie Jean pregnant with juice pups. I got Bertha pregnant with juice pups. Um, so I got juice pups on the way. You feel me? I also did some pup back deals. So, I mean, I'm not too concerned about it. Um, it's okay. You feel me? Good things come to those who wait. Always remember that, you guys. Good things come to those who wait. Good things. So I'm going to be patient. You know what I'm saying? I'm not going to rush the process. I'm going to take the process step by step and just go through it and just rock with it. I'm not even going to rush the process. It is what it is. You feel me? Like, my goal, my whole goal is to create that visual board I'm trying to create. And I'm not going to stop until I get back in the lab and create that. You feel me? Um, but, um, so that was one of the preventatives she said that we could have done. Or, I forgot what else she said. What else did she say we could have done? I don't remember you guys, but again, man, that was one of the main things that she said we could have done. But again, man, like I said... Who finna do all that? Like, who finna kill off some of their puppies, bro? Like, come on. Like, we ain't doing that. But, I mean, hey, things happen. There's nothing I can do about it. Rest in peace, Rosa Parks. Rest in peace, the whole litter, man. Rosa Parks was a dog I created, man. She was so happy, so loving. Um, just a great, amazing dog, man. She listened. She was obedient. Not problematic. Like, she was real calm, man. You know what I'm saying? I hate it. Because Rosa Parks was very special to me, man, because I created her. Like, I had to, you know, I, I had to tube feed her. I had to bottle feed her. Like, I went through a lot, Rosa, even when she was a puppy. But, I mean, hey, I look at it like this. For every bad thing, something good is coming to you. So, for every something bad to happen, you got something double that as good as about to happen. Um, so, one thing I can do now is just make sure Billie Jean and Bertha... It's good, and you guys know I got to confirm my Frenchie in about a week and a half, but I'm sure she took. Like I told you guys, I'm I'm getting good signs. I'm getting the mucus. I'm getting the throw up. I'm getting the, the, the mood swings. I'm getting the whole nine yards, so I'm very excited about that. I'm very excited about Billie Jean. You guys know this is my first time getting Billie Jean to take. Bertha, you already know. You guys know Bertha. Bertha producing fire. Like, Bertha producing everything. Bertha producing rainbows, so we good. You know what I'm saying? We're not too concerned on that, you guys. Um, but man, like I said, I appreciate everybody. Y'all make sure I go over to, uh, um, her, follow her Instagram. She love her YouTube channel. Go to my Instagram, follow my Instagram, you guys. Hey man, listen, I want to let y'all know, I know what I'm doing with that TCI gun, man. Cause as y'all can see, I'm getting these pups dropping with that TCI gun. Litter of nine, litter of 10, litter of 10. I'm dropping them. I'm going to have to kind of slow back with that TCI gun. I'm going to have to maybe do one TCI instead of two, three. I'm not going to lie, y'all. I'm doing three TCIs, two. <laughs> hey, I got the stud and I got the machine. So I'm going, hmm, hmm, hmm. I'm going, hey, I'm going to inject it. <laughs> but now, nah, you guys, man, hey, man, shout out to everybody, man, who showed me love. And I appreciate it, man. Um, I love y'all. I love my support, you guys. Um, we're on the road to 100K. We almost there. Um, I love y'all, man. That's the truth, man. That's what happened to her. Um, we got to keep pushing. We can't let this, you know what I'm saying, get in our way. We just got to keep pushing, keep going. Um, I love y'all. I'll catch y'all next video. We out, you guys.